All right, we are FaceTiming right now. We got the Starlink deployed right now. I am shooting a new video. I'm here today to try to deploy the Starlink Mini in a remote location to see if I could still get good enough service to handle everything I need to do on a work day. So today is Tuesday and we're about nine o'clock in the morning. I woke up early and drove all the way up into the mountains here and I got some work I got to do. So I got all the Starlink accessories packed away in this box and we're gonna try to deploy it here. So I think I found a good spot right over here that I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this case on. So let me go ahead and spin it around. As you can see, we have just an absolutely stunning view today. And I have the mini ready to go in this travel case that we have here. So what's awesome about this is I have no power with me today, but I do have our new battery pack that we just launched. The Peak Dew battery pack can provide up to four hours of power to the Starlink Mini. All right, so here is the Peak Dew battery pack that we have integrated into our case slash mount here. And a lot of people think that our mounts are just mounts and it can only be used as a mount. But really, this is like the otter box for your Starlink Mini. So we could just take these magnets out. And in this video as well, uh, I'll show mounting this on my vehicle. These rubber coated magnets can handle highway speeds no problem. But we'll move this to the side right now. And this all fits into our travel case. But here is the new Peak Dew battery pack. And as you can see here, let me go ahead and tap this. I have this fully charged right now, 91%. And I just hold this for a couple seconds to activate the DC port. There we go, the Starlink Mini is now powered on. And I'm just gonna close this lid and set this Starlink Mini right here. Lay it a little more flat. And we'll see what type of internet connectivity we can get after this boots up for a couple minutes. I sat this down, turned on the Peak Dew battery pack and let that boot up for a couple minutes. We are now connected to Wi-Fi and I'm gonna go ahead and perform a speed test now and let's see what we get. Speed test is now almost finished. We're getting close to 200 megabits down, 198 to be precise. And then now on upload speed, we are getting close to 18 megabits, 19 megabits down on upload speed. Absolutely phenomenal. Let's see if maybe this can get picked up on the phone. My screen is a little scratched here. Let's see if I can get a little closer, focus in on that. If it picks up 198 down, 19 up, and look at the view that we have out here. So as I mentioned before, this fully integrates with our case and it slaps right into the travel case that we have here and I deployed this literally in a matter of seconds. I opened up our travel case, slapped the mini on top of it and turned on the power bank and it's going to give me up to four to five hours of internet connectivity. So we ran the speed test on my phone. Now let's go ahead and try to get the laptop out. So I actually do have some emails funny enough that I need to catch up on to and I think I have a nice spot right here. So I can actually bring my backpack and use this as a little bit of a backrest and let's see what type of stuff we can get done on this internet here and maybe we can even try to do a zoom call to see what that looks like so it looks like internet connectivity is working perfectly let's go ahead and move our way over to youtube see what it's like trying to pull up some videos since we run our socials here check us out go to veritas fans oh my gosh everything is loading phenomenally quick here no issues at all. Let's go ahead and try to do a FaceTime call on the MacBook here. All right, we are FaceTiming right now. Let's see if uh, Steven picks up here. Yes, yes he sir. picked up. I am shooting a demonstration video right now. We got the Starlink deployed right now. I am shooting a new video. All right, I believe we are still calling right now. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes or so. We uh, did a speed test on the phone, pulled out my laptop, had a really great experience checking out some emails and actually took some live stream calls with some of the team uh, over at Veritas. And this is fantastic. You know, you could see the location that we're at here. And what the battery pack allows for is you can deploy this absolutely anywhere now. We have a plentiful amount of power options where if you're wanting to run wire inside of 
of your vehicle or you're wanting to hardwire this, you can most certainly do that. But with the Peak Dew battery pack, you can really take this absolutely anywhere and get access to high speed internet. So actually what I'm gonna show next is putting these magnets back on, slapping this on top of the truck and showing some footage of doing some highway speeds and seeing how this holds up. So for now, what's great is I could just come over here and turn this off. So I'll just hold this for a couple seconds to turn off the power heading to the mini so we don't have that continuously running. There we go, power is turned off. And really this can just slide into your backpack just like this. So if you don't wanna take the travel case, you can just slide this whole setup into your backpack with the handle. It kind of makes it a little extra bulky here. So you could take the handle off. There we go. So pretty tight with the handle on there, but thankfully we have the travel case. But I just wanted to show that does fit in a backpack after kind of forcing it in there with the handle. This handle comes off as well. So when you go to purchase our case, it doesn't, the, this handle is an additional accessory that you can add on. So if you don't need a hand, then you can get a lot more room. Throwing magnets back on. So I'm just gonna drop this. So we have our industrial grade suction cup. These can handle highway speeds, no problem. Any glass or smooth surface. So if you have like actual paint on a vehicle, as long as you clean the surface, these industrial grade suction cups are gonna work. Uh, but what we, we would recommend is using our magnets because these have 150 pounds of holding power and they're kind of like a set it and forget it approach. So you don't have to check with magnets or with suction cups, I'm sorry. You need to check the suction every single time to make sure that this white line is gone and you have a solid suction before hitting the road. With magnets, you literally just slap it on top of a vehicle. And that's what we're gonna show uh, right now. So something that people will say is, what if I have a Jeep that has a plastic roof or a Ford that has an aluminum body, or I'm wanting to apply this to a non-magnetic surface? What we would recommend is our VHB metal pucks here. These are 3M VHB, just clean the surface and you could slap that in there and it's gonna work no problem. We also have a security cable. So if you wanna prevent unwanted removals, uh, this is gonna help with that as well. Uh, we're gonna show the battery pack right now. So I'm gonna actually hike back up to my truck. So let's just go ahead and slap this all back in the travel case. We got everything loaded up in the travel case. Now it's time to hike back up to the truck. See you there. All right, we are back to the very top. Now that we have our rubber coated magnets on, it's just a matter of setting this down. Turning on that Starlink again. All you gotta do is press that power button, hold it for three seconds. I can straighten that out a little bit. And your Mini is powered on. So let's go ahead and uh, drive a little deeper into the mountains and see how this magnet mount holds up. All right, so we've officially made it to our destination. The mini handled being mounted on top of the truck, no problem whatsoever. So let's go ahead and pop it off. I'm just climbing in through the driver's side of the truck. You know what's awesome is since these magnets are so strong, it can be very difficult to pull this off unless you have the handle here. So it's still gonna be difficult, but I can just reach into this handle, kind of push my thumb up and pop that off. Way, way easier than compared to not having uh, the handle at all. So I've been running this for a few hours now and we can see we're at 62% and I can go ahead and turn this off just by holding this down for three seconds. That should shut down the mini and then there you have it. One thing that I forgot to mention too now that we're here is that there's mounting points here at the top. So if you don't want to put this on the outside of your vehicle, you can mount this on the inside on a glass roof facing straight up. So we have mounting points on the top and the bottom or as you saw earlier, you can take these off and use no attachments if you're wanting to 
deploy this out in the field and everything fit right inside of this travel case that we have. The other thing I didn't have the opportunity to mention are power options here. So these power options are extremely thick gauge, uh, 16 gauge wire, much thicker than Starlinks. And what that's really gonna do, that's gonna pre prevent any fraying that you get. So if you're outside like this, throwing this in with camping gear, deploying this outside all the time, wires can get tangled, they can brush up against stuff and fray really easily. And one thing that we love so much about our wires is how thick these are. So they're extremely durable and they're gonna handle the test of time. The ports themselves are also weatherproofed. So just like Starlinks, you have all this weathering on it that's gonna prevent any condensation or water getting inside of the wiring. We're we're truly the one-stop shop for everything you need to access internet everywhere you go. If you like this video, go ahead and shoot it a like and check us out at veritasfans.com. We sell this case here. This case is manufactured right here in the USA. All of our attachment options are good to go. So yeah, just a really good example of the one-stop shop for access to internet anywhere that you go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got a ton of value out of it and I'll see you back out there.